CES 2020 has come and gone, and I gotta admit, I saw some really cool things. Today, I'm going to show you 20 hot smart home products that I think are on takeoff in 2020. Starting on the outside of the house, Arlo showed off their cameras, including the Arlo Pro 3, and new this year, the Arlo Pro 3 floodlight camera. At first, I thought this thing looked funny, and I was like, what is this thing? It doesn't even look like a camera. But once they showed it to me, and they showed how bright it got, this thing got super bright, and the design is actually quite nice. It does feature a 2K video camera with HDR, color night vision, 160 degree field of vision, two-way audio, a built-in siren, and also a rechargeable battery. It's going to be available this spring, so start looking out for it. I think it's going to be a hot item. Moving our way into the house in 2020, we're going to see a lot more smart locks with biometrics like fingerprints. Here is the Utec U Bolt Pro, the ultimate six in one smart deadbolt, where you can unlock your lock in six different ways one with the smartphone, two with biometric fingerprint, three, a code, four, auto unlock settings in the app, um, five, a magic shake of your phone, which <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about that one. And number six, it still has a mechanical key underneath all this smart home stuff. If by chance you want a smart door handle instead of a smart deadbolt, Utech offers this four in one smart door handle, which I checked out at CES. Currently, it is on Indiegogo, and they've raised over $165,000. If you guys want to check this out, I will leave a link down below. Quickset also announced their new Halo Touch fingerprint smart lock at CES with the ability to store up to 100 fingerprints or 50 users and it features that patent smart key security that Quickset is known for that prevents attacks like lock picking and lock bumping and it also features a smart key security system that allows you to rekey the lock quickly and easily without a locksmith which is awesome. It'll also work with Lady A and the Google Google Assistant will be available in a couple months in late Q1. If by chance you are a HomeKit user like I am and many of my viewers, QuickSet does offer another lock with HomeKit compatibility called the Premise. So definitely check that out. It is available now. August also announced their brand new smart lock called the Wi-Fi smart lock. Now I did lose the footage here, but you get some press kit photos just so you can see what it looks like. It is 45% smaller in volume and 20% slimmer than the previous smart lock pro. Now two big things is one is the sheer size of this thing. This thing is much smaller than the previous version, which was one of their biggest complaints. And two, which I'm super happy about, is there, there's no external bridge anymore. It still works with Lady A, Google, and Siri. And I do estimate it, it's probably going to be about the same price, at 250 price point, and should be available soon. And last but not least, one more thing before we go inside is another lock by Level Lock. And this thing looks awesome. And the reason why is because it's invisible. You do nothing to your existing lock except for change the inside guts to the outside person. It's going to look exactly the same and work with the exact same key. It is battery operated, which uses a CR2 battery. And what's cool is you change it right in the deadbolt. It will be shipping at the end of this month. You can reserve your lock right now. Moving on in, I think in 2020, we're gonna see a lot more smart home garage door openers, like this LiftMaster garage door opener with a integrated camera. You can actually set this up with your Amazon key so your delivery drivers can drop off the packages inside the garage. And you can check on them with the camera, which has a 1080p HD camera that rotates 360 degrees. You can talk back and forth with two-way communication, and you can control the door via the MyQ connected app. And it is available now. Moving into the house and looking at floors, there are a lot of different robot vacuums and mops currently on the market, and I think in 2020, there's going to be a lot more. At CES, I did check out this Narwhal, which claims to be the world's first self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop. 
It's a two-in-one system that mops and vacuums. It has a deep cleaning option, has smart mapping and navigation. And what's really cool is in the base, it has a clean water tank and also a sewer tank. So you don't need to change it that often. Currently, it has raised over a million dollars on Indiegogo. I'll leave a link down to their campaign down below so you can check it out. Staying in the kitchen and talking about the faucet, touching or waving your hand in front of the faucet is so 2018. Now that 2020 is here, and with the U by Moen smart faucet, you can simply ask Lady A, AKA, or Google Home Assistant to provide you the perfect amount of water at the perfect temperature. No matter what you're doing, like cutting up vegetables or juggling two screaming kids, you can activate the U Smart Faucet simply by your voice. You can ask anywhere from one tablespoon all the way up to 15 gallons of water of any temperature your water system can provide. You can also do a combination of metered and temperature requests like a half a cup of water at 105 degrees or two ounces of hot water. Also, within the Moen app, you can set up presets like baby bottle that provide 10 ounces of water of exactly 97 degrees, or even your dog bowl, one cup of water at 70 degrees. The U by Moen technology will be available on a huge range of different Moen faucets to suit your style and budget. Talking about faucets and water, all I can think about is all the water detection systems and shuttle valves that I saw at CES, including the Flow by Moan, which was right next to this faucet. And I gotta tell you, this thing looks awesome. I definitely want this in my house in the near future. It is a little bit pricing and you do need to get a professional plumber to install it. But they did mention a lot of insurance companies are now giving discounts for homeowners that do have a smart home shutoff valve. Also in 2020, we're gonna see a lot more electrical smart switches like this Wemo Smart Selector. This is actually a home kit switch which has six different options and scenes to choose from. You can actually tap or hold each one of these buttons to do different things. And Wemo is also releasing a brand new smart plug that will work with all three major voice assistants. But look at this thing. This thing is super duper small. It's the smallest smart plug I've ever seen. Now, I don't know if you really need it that small as long as you can stack two of them on top of each other. We've already had it, but it is still pretty cool. Another smart switch company or smart panel company is Brilliant, which I looked at last year. And I'm extremely happy that I have this in my home. At CS, they did announce and show off their brand new dimmer switch, which is about one fifth the price of a control panel. So if you already have a control panel, you can add additional dimmers. They both work with Lady A and Google Assistant, but unfortunately, it still does not work with HomeKit, even though they have announced that it will be coming and I can't wait. In 2020, we can expect smart lights and panels to get even smarter and start learning our habits. Now Leaf showed off their brand new light panels, which are now shaped as hexagons. And they also announced the learning switch, the learning button, the learning gateway, and showed off their new smart light, which is all part of the Nano Leaf learning series, which will learn your habits and turn on and off the lights as it learns your habits, which is cool. But I gotta admit the coolest thing I saw at the Nano Leaf booth is the gaming room. This feature is not new, but it is cool to see in action. It will actually reproduce colors from your monitor and throw it up onto your Nano Leaf panels. If you set it up correctly, it can give you a really cool effect. Another smart home thing that I saw with entertainment is Dabby, which is like a search engine for all your entertainment on TV. No matter what premium services you have, like Netflix, ESPN, Disney, HBO, even social media like Instagram and Twitter, by talking to this and using the panel, you can actually search for things that you're looking for. Dabby will also help you manage all your subscriptions and if it notices that you don't use one after a while it will let you know to go ahead and discontinue the service. 
Moving into the bathroom, I saw the Kohler Moxie shower head and speaker. And I gotta tell you, this thing looks awesome. They do have a version with Alexa built in, so you can definitely bring Lady A into the bathroom with you if you want to. They do have a version without Lady A built in. You will have to take it up and down to charge it up, but they do say the battery lasts about five to seven hours. And I did play with it, and it's extremely easy to take up and take down since it's just magnetically held in place. It's scheduled to be released this year. And lastly, we're moving into the bedroom with the Sleep by Number Climate 360 Smart Bed. With most of us suffering from sleeping too hot and too cold, this Climate 360 bed is going to put an end to that. With the Sleep IQ technology, it will monitor your heart rate, breathing, and movement throughout the night. I got a chance to test out this bed at CES 2020 and you can definitely feel a considerable difference when you raise and lower the temperature. And if this thing wasn't so expensive, it would definitely be on my priority list to get in 2020. They did mention that it does start at $9,000. <laughs> I think I'll just buy a smart van. I appreciate you guys watching. If you wanna see another CS video, click right here. I hope you would consider subscribing for some more smart home automation. See you later. Think and break me.